So next we're going to uh, we're going to extend the power rule, uh, which so far we've only we've only really demonstrated for positive integers, right? So if we have x to the power of some positive integer, we know what to do. Um, so now if n is if n is a positive integer, putting the minus sign out front, well that will make it a negative integer. So let's see what happens uh, when we calculate the derivative of a power function where the power is negative. Okay. Well, first thing we notice. is that using laws of exponents, we can write f of x as 1 over x to the n. The quotient rule applies. f prime is going to be, well, the derivative of the top, which is 0, right, multiplied by the bottom minus the top, 1, multiplied by the derivative of the bottom. And there, because n now, now that this is in the bottom, n is a positive integer, this is the power rule that we've already established. So we know that this is n times x to the n minus 1. And we divide by the bottom squared. Okay. So what does that give us? Let's do a bit of simplifying. Right? We, this, this is a bit of a mess. We don't want to leave it like that, even if I said you could. Um, so minus 1 times n, that's just minus n, minus n x to the n minus 1 over, well, x to the n squared becomes x to the 2n, right? And x to the n times x to the n, n plus n gives us that 2n. All right. Well, I've got a ratio of powers, right? We never leave things like this. We, we simplify. We know that if you have a ratio of two powers, you can subtract the exponents. Okay. So let's, let's put it all up in the numerator. We have minus n x to the n minus 1 minus 2n, which is minus n times x to the minus n, minus 1. Okay? So keep in mind here that n was a, n was a positive integer, so minus n is a negative integer. Um, here's our result, and what does our result say? Our result says that if you're taking the derivative of a power function where the power is negative, well, exponent comes down in front, minus n, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. But that was exactly the power rule that we had uh, before, for positive integers. So what this tells us is that now the power rule, in fact, works for all integers, positive and negative, right? Well, and 0, I guess x to the 0, we treat that as the constant function 1. It works in that case too, right? So that means that, for example, if I wanted to do the derivative of, let's say, something like x to the minus 7, right, which is the same thing as 1 over x to the 7, well, that's going to be minus 7x to the minus 8, right? Um, or if I wanted to do the derivative of 1 over x, which is x to the minus 1, power rule says that's minus 1 times x to the minus 2, which we might choose to write as minus 1 over x squared. Okay. So quotient rule gives us a little bit of an extension on the power rule. Now we can handle all integers.